Okay, so let me get this straight. 9-11 happened in 2001, and it was funded mainly by Saudi Arabia, but through Al-Qaeda, who Osama bin Laden was supposedly the head of, although he was in a cave, and uh, he trained all these hijackers how to fly commercial jets from a cave in Afghanistan. But we didn't invade Saudi Arabia. Instead, the president smoked cigars with the prince, and Osama bin Laden's family got flown out in a secure jet days after. But we do invade Iraq and Afghanistan, Afghanistan because Osama bin Laden was supposedly there, although our CIA trained Osama bin Laden and he used to work for them. But our CIA also used to work with Saddam Hussein, who was actually an enemy of Al-Qaeda, but they claimed he had weapons of mass destruction, but no one ever found them, okay? So, we have soldiers in Iraq in Afghanistan, but no one in Saudi Arabia. And then Syria pops up. And of course, that was like, what, 10 or 12 years ago, right? Now Syria pops up, and in Syria, our government is saying that their leader is a dictator, so they're funding the rebels, who's actually Al-Qaeda. So we've got Saudi Arabia funding Al-Qaeda, but in one case they're bad, and during 9-11, and in the war in Afghanistan. But in the other case, they're funding al-Qaeda to fight as rebels in Syria. And then there's the whole Benghazi thing, which for some reason our government didn't help these diplomats after the first explosion or missile or whatever it was, and people theorize it's because our government was sending weapons, straight-up weapons, not just humanitarian funds, to the rebels in Syria, which was actually Al-Qaeda. So if our government, not no longer the Bush, but now under Obama, is actually not just giving aid to Al-Qaeda, which they admit because they're funding the rebels in Syria, but also weapons if the theory of Benghazi is true, then how does that make you feel knowing that our soldiers are in Afghanistan and rockets are getting shot at them? Rockets that no one really knows, or mortars, more specifically, where they're coming from. But the theory is it's from Pakistan, and then they're sending them to Afghanistan. But where are they coming in from Pakistan when Pakistan is our ally, but so is Saudi Arabia, even though Saudi Arabia is the one funding al-Qaeda. But we're also funding al-Qaeda. So it looks like we and Saudi Arabia are friends. Am I getting that right? If I got anything wrong, just tell me. I know that the, the Benghazi thing is speculation, but everything else I'm pretty sure is fact. So those mortars that are getting shot at our soldiers, who's really buying them? And it's funny, because let's just say you're a soldier in Afghanistan and a mortar gets shot at you, that either Saudi Arabia or our government either paid for or directly provided. But you're getting paid to be there, and you go and you send your money home to pay your credit card bills that go to the banks, the same banks that our government and Saudis are kind of in on this whole thing with, along with the international bankers, who have throughout history funded both sides of every war. Once again, please tell me if I got anything wrong. Just wondering. I hope you're having a happy new year. Let's all pray for our troops. Let's pray for victims of war and violence everywhere around the world. And let's pray that I got something wrong. Please subscribe. I'm going to start making regular podcasts. Eden Cultures, Heather Davis with a Y. See you later. Bye.